Hello everybody, so a while back someone asked me to do a guide on how to get a perfect weapon and I said I would do it. And now it's months later and I forgot about it and I was just like scrolling through random comments and I saw that comment again and I'm like, oh wait, I need to do this. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So just get right into it. First off, this is Wii U version only. Legends, it'll start out the same and then once you kind of get into the later steps, it's like, okay, this isn't really gonna work. And then by the end, you may have a perfect weapon, but it's going to be a perfect level 3 weapon. And in Legends, level 3, why would you use a level 3 weapon that's perfect? And, uh, okay, I not really, okay. <laughs> because, like, there's, like, perfect level 2 weapons that people use because they don't like the look of level 3. But in Legends, level 3 and 4, and they look the exact same. What's the point of using level 3 when you can have level 4 or level 4 plus? So, yeah, this is Wii U version only. But the first step is pretty much the exact same, no matter what you're playing. Second... This is really actually not that difficult, but the higher level you are, then the easier this will be. So if you're at like level like 120, trying to get through the Twilight map, uh, yeah, that's not the best idea. You're probably going to just want to focus on leveling up then, unless you're using like a level three zero star weapon, then yeah, try to get a level three five star weapon. Anyways, on to the guy itself. First step, I just get right into it. You need a weapon with slots plus and stars plus on the character and weapon combination you want to get a perfect weapon for. So today, for the example, I'm using Minna and I'm gonna get a perfect shackle for her. But, say example, you want a perfect spinner for Link. You don't want to be using a weapon, you don't want to be using his f magic rod, you don't want to be using the right fairy, you don't want to be using the Highland sword. You don't want to be using Zelda's Dominion Rod if you're using that for some reason. You need a Slots Plus and Stars Plus weapon for the spinner, and the spinner only. So if you want a perfect weapon for each of Link's weapons, you need a Highland Sword, you need a Magic Rod, you need a Great Fairy, you need a gaunt you need a pair of gauntlets, and you need an Epona, and you need a spinner, all with Slots Plus and Stars Plus. That's the first step. So if you don't have a Slots Plus or Stars Plus, Slots Plus and Stars Plus, then play that character and weapon and there's a few various missions that you can use i'd say this one on the twilight map this one and this one those are all really great missions for just getting a perfect weapon on a light or dark character because those heavily favor light and dark characters and those are really quick, you're gonna get pretty decent weapons with a lot of slots, and because they have more slots, you have a higher chance of getting slots plus and stars plus. Also, in the Apothecary, I forgot to say this, oops, <laughs> Apothecary, you want, I believe it is a bonus skill, use this, use a bonus skill potion, because that will give you your delicious slots plus and stars plus. And I actually already have um, slots plus and stars plus on Minda. But I'm just going to pretend, yeah, it's bonus, okay. <laughs> and then, if you don't want to do that, other options are two missions in the Termina map, which are uh, this mission, yes, this mission, or this mission. Again, they kind of favor dark characters, but it's a Termina map, so you're going to actually get six weapons per uh, game instead of three. So, you have more weapons so you can kind of again kind of like have a higher chance of getting them and even though they might not always be like two weapons that you own at least one of them pretty much will be and then hopefully you get a second one but not always that's another thing and then if you're not really high enough leveled but you really really just want to get a perfect weapon then on the original adventure map you have this quiz mission this quiz mission um, yeah, this quiz mission, and then this quiz mission. So those four missions on the top two rows of the original adventure map, those are pretty decent as well. You can finish them decently quickly, and they give pretty good stuff. There's also this mission, but I believe that's a lower level, even though it's kind of like in the same general area. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, unless you just really can't do any of those four missions. Then, eh. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be getting a perfect weapon in the first place. Okay, so after you get Slots Plus and Stars Plus, then go to Smithy, fuse them onto the same weapon if they aren't already. So here, Slots Plus, where's the Slots Plus? 
Um, or at least one that I'm fine with using. Uh, yeah, you. Okay. Slap that on. Slots Plus and Stars Plus on the same weapon. Perfect. Now, that's pretty much the same for Legends, if you're getting Perfect Weapon for Legends. You need something with Slots Plus and Stars Plus. That's just generic, basic, you always will need that. So, on to the second step. You're gonna wanna go into free mode, and then play the last mission on Hero Difficulty. And this almost always guarantees a perfect weapon. And while it does always guarantee a perfect weapon, almost always guarantees a perfect weapon for the character you're playing. There was one instance where I played through trying to get a perfect weapon for Gearheim, and then got a perfect set of boots for Linkle. So that can kind of happen, but you're pretty much always going to get a perfect weapon. Also before doing that, you will want to go in the Papa Carry and use a weapon slot 3 potion. Specifically because slots are harder to get than stars, and they also are kind of more important, at least in the Wii U version. So you will want to make one of those, and then just go into the mission, choose your outfits, and then just choose the slots plus and stars plus weapon, and then just beat the mission, and hopefully you will get it. So I will just beat the mission really quick, and we will see what I get. And I'm done with the mission, so let's see what I got. There we go. And also a perfect gearing weapon too, so that's cool. Okay, so first of all, a couple of other notes I didn't mention earlier. The rank of the weapon you're using does not matter. So if you're using slots and stars plus on a rank 2 weapon, that doesn't guarantee or give a higher chance that a rank 2 weapon will drop. It's just dependent on the mission you're playing. So even if I had slots plus stars plus on a rank 2 weapon, that's not going to affect anything. I'm pretty much still guaranteed a level 3 weapon or 8 bit weapon from that mission. Um, second thing, level 3 8 bit, if you want a specific one, there's not anything you can do to influence that. It's just completely random and you're just gonna have to kind of play the mission over and over again until you get this specific level 3 weapon or specific 8-bit weapon you want so if you have a preference I'm sorry um, if you don't like the level 3 or 8-bit weapons for and you want to get a perfect level 2 weapon then you'll probably want to do the same method except you'll want to play one of the four quiz missions I mentioned earlier, so the Legendary Warriors quiz, the Women's Weapons quiz, the Triforce quiz, or the Royalty quiz. Those four missions, I tend to get a lot of perfect level 2 weapons from those. Even though I never use them, I still get a lot from them. So I would probably recommend those for perfect level 2 weapons. If you want perfect level 1 weapons, which I've never gone for, and also I've never just gotten ever, uh, I'm not completely sure. Probably the mission I just played Liberation of the Triforce doing that on the easiest setting that should probably get you some perfect level 1 weapons I'm not exactly sure but honestly if you don't like the look of the level 3, three weapons you should be le using a level 2 weapon and if you're using level 1 weapon then I don't know <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> um, finally weapon skills weapon skills they're pretty much just random. It's like slots plus stars plus. You can use some potions to increase your chances, but that's about it. So basically, the same missions I said before for getting slots plus and stars plus, except this time if you want attack skills, so the strength skills or strong attack plus, you'll want to use an attack potion or attack skill potion instead of a bonus skill potion. If you want a 2000 KO skill, so the versus dragon versus undead, you know, all those great skills, then you'll want a versus skill potion. If you want a 3000 KO potion, so no healing, defenseless, compatriot, you know, any of those three, or whatever else there, then you'll want a special skill potion. And if you want one of the 4000 skills, so, you know, hasty attacks, there's no potion for that. That is 100% completely random, which really, 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 really sucks. And it can be a pain to get. And really all you can do is just play the game until you get lucky, and that's sadly all you can do for weapon skills. So, I'm sorry. 
because a lot of people ask me how do I get haste on everything, it's honestly just, I'm lucky. That is the thing, and the sand one I'm not getting lucky really so far, I still, it's painful and I still have not gotten hasty on that, so, mm, you really don't have much choice. Most of this is just random and just increasing, like this entire video is just, oh this is random, this is random, this is random, but it's like, you can do things to increase that luck, but it's still going to be random, and you're going to still have to be doing the same thing over and over again until you get it, and you're lucky, which really, really sucks, but that's about all you can do. Anyways, uh, that's about it for this video, and not much else, so go get your perfect weapons and go obliterate Twilight Terminal maps in any of those challenge missions you have left. Okay, bye! And I'm done, so we will see what I got in the results screen. And hopefully it's perfect weapon, almost 15 minutes. So, yeah, it can take a while. And, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Uh, no. Shut up. Three stars? Are you serious? No. Uh, three stars is garbage. Why would I want that? Three stars is terrible.